I left my keys indoors, my plan flawed at the first hurdle. No money for a locksmith from skin. Take a quick detour to my birds for a nap, a slash and a quick clean up at hers. Grab the spare key under the mat. Get in and keep your head down. In fact, they like fluky to come round with a bit of green. After a little smoke, we'll be it with a bit of clarity. Dave comes en route with his ooze. I ponder on reheating the leftover Chinese on the side. I want to tell him about last night, but how can I? I can't say I spent the night with a bird and never knew it was a guy. But who's going to believe that? The truth is, the truth sounds more like pork pies than the truth. Let's just keep this done. Fancy a brew, Fluke? He looks at me confused. Brew or no brew? I ask him again. His smile disappears. Speak to me, friend. What's on your mind? Remember, I've got your back more than your spine. He can read my mind, this thick guy. Davo is so tuned in, he can hear everything. Listening in on my thoughts, Fluke, he could probably hear a fly talk. We'll talk. Everybody knows I'm a rude one. Walk in the street. Dream. I've been rumbled. Can't have. I mumble out two sugars, which Dave retorts back. Sit down, speak to Uncle Dave. Look, I know what you did. Now, I just want you to know that you're worth your weight in gold and nothing can ever change that. I know you didn't spend last night at Nat's Gaff. I just saw Nat's downtown and she don't even know you're here now. Don't worry, she don't know nothing. I told you you kept that mine, you sick man. Could have at least given me the lowdown. I was sweating for you. Sit down now with my head in my hands. It's all good, he says. You weren't punching below your weight. You were just jabbing below your waist. That's natural in a lot. You see, Dave's a lovely feather unless you're his missus. It's not that he don't love her, he just thinks where his dick is. I can't live like this. Hold this in, this burden. He's my best mate, for God's sake. Dave says I'm worth my weight in gold. He rates me. I can trust him. I break down and begin to tell him all about last night with Sam and how I believe the pulled a ten turned out I pulled a man. It's not Harry Sands. I look up. Fluky. I was drugged. Are you sure? He gives it. You can't go around throwing these accusations about. People get nicked for this shit. I've seen it. Is he kidding? He's supposed to have my back and he's back in Sam the lady man. Of course I'm sure. I'm not a diff, Dave. I thought she was a lass, but when I woke up this morning, I found out she was a lad. I'm surprised you can sit down. Dave, now's not the time for enough jokes. You should have thought about that before you opened your arsehole. That's it, I'm smacking him. I ain't taking it. I get up and clench my fist and throw a punch that licks him clean on the chin. He wobbles a bit, but Dave's not having any of it. He gets up and decks me with his best card. I hit the ground hard. I bounce back up, though. Then we go toe to toe, blow for blow. Next thing you know, Dave has me in a chokehold. I hear a set of keys start to jingle. What's that out of the That's a true bachelor for I ain't even two. So the next man walks in, who the fuck is this dude? Turns out Nats has been shagging some other fella behind my back all the while I've been feeling bad. Dave clocks on, something's wrong. He lets me go. You right, fella? Yeah, brother, you? Not gonna lie, I've been better. Dave spots the elephant in the room. What are you doing here? There's some shit here last night. Nats said the yard was gonna be empty, so I swing by. Why, what's it to you? I flip my lid. Oh, leave this shit. I head straight for the kitchen, forget fighting, he's in for a slicing. I know when I was eating my fire master didn't condone violence, but on this occasion he deserves some rights fighting. You're doing it, it's not worth it, man. He pulls me back. What are you doing? It ain't worth it, man. The other lad tries to talk. Mate, fuck off. The lad goes to answer, son. Jog on. The fella says that the affair could go horribly wrong. No fight's worth losing your life, he drops Natalie's keys and runs. I lay down stunned. A tear forms. Several minutes pass. I can't believe this. That's was cheating even before I did. Life was perfect till I woke up this morning. Now it's all just one big nightmare. Dave O'Sleer's blank. I mean, what can he say to that? I need answers now. I get up and head out. You dropped your blog, you muffin. Shut up, man. What are you doing? Mate, I'm going right. Hey, have you got a spare hey, lid? Fuck off, mate, mate. You're on tag, man. What are you doing? Fucking come on, man. Fucking come on, man.